These three men say they survived priest sex abuse. They've heard two other popes apologize, now Pope Francis. I beg your forgiveness also for the sins of omission on the part of church leaders. Leaders these three say who hid or harbored the abusers. Mark Crawford is the New Jersey director of SNAP, the survivor's network of those abused by priests. He says of his abuser, Actually, he's still a priest today. He was allowed to retire. He lives here in New Jersey. He works for this state and never convicted. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. These secrets are still well kept. They have to help the victims of child abuse instead of spending millions and millions of dollars on the best lobbyists and lawyers. I think it's a, a good step forward, but as we all know, this is the third pope who has apologized for this scandal and I think it's time for action. The trio want cardinals and bishops to out and oust abusers. So until the bishops follow the Pope's lead and, and put the truth out there, hold these men accountable and do the right thing, then really little is changed. Father John Bambrick is a member of Catholic Whistleblowers. I expect something long lasting. My biggest uh, expectation is that bishops will be held accountable, that they will no longer be uh, medieval Renaissance um, monarchs, but rather will be held accountable for their bad deeds. Survivors say all that they seek doesn't come from just the Catholic Church, but from state lawmakers as well. Senator Joseph Vitale of Woodbridge says he will reintroduce his bill to end the two-year statute of limitations on filing civil suits for sexual abuse of children. Right now, victims have two years to sue from the day they realize the abuse caused them damage. Vitale calls it absurdly low in a civil action. He says it's the morally right thing to do. New Jersey has one of the worst limitations in the nation. Let the victims have their say in court. But the New Jersey Catholic Conference of Bishops says the bill would open the floodgates to claims so faded by time that they would be impossible to defend. Mark Crawford of SNAP says lawmakers must act. They can choose to protect the children of New Jersey or they're going to choose to protect the institutions that have hidden and harbored these men who have harmed our children. And it's time they make the right decision. If nothing else, the Pope's comments put a big spotlight once again on the issue of sex abuse and the Catholic Church hiding and harboring abusers. Michael Hill joins us in the studio now. Michael, the Pope didn't spell out whether by accountability he meant that he would fire bishops involved. Is that what they're asking for? That's exactly what they're asking for. And they talked uh, at length today about uh, him taking some action against one bishop already in Germany. And they want the same thing to happen all across the globe, all seven continents, because they say, uh, the reason this has gone on for so long is because so many of these priests have been shuffled about. And as a result of that, uh, uh, they've gotten away with some of the abuse. The claims have not been heard. And they hold some of the cardinals and, more directly, the bishops responsible for this action. What's next? In the New Jersey legislature, we, we talked about the uh, statute of limitations. And I think there's going to be a really big push because of the Pope's comment, a really big push when the session reconvenes. So uh, that's going to be interesting to watch. But this push to, to, to hold the bishops accountable is not going to end, especially based on what the Pope just said. Okay. Thank you, Michael Hill. Thanks for being here.